Berlin, Germany's capital and largest city, is a significant hub for politics, culture, journalism, and science. Berlin is known for its cultural flair. It is the city of the internationally renowned Berlin Opera and Berlin Philharmonic Orchestra, as well as hundreds of galleries, performances, and museums, including those on Museum Island, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In spite of the destruction caused by World War II and the years of deterioration to the east of the iconic Berlin Wall, the city has been rebuilt in a way that highlights its achievements while also admitting a sordid past. Today, Berlin is known as a more youthful, hip tourist destination that provides a unique blend of new and old buildings, exciting entertainment, shopping, and a huge variety of sports, cultural, and art organizations. Let's have a look at best places to visit in Berlin. Number 1. Brandenburg Gate One of Berlin's most celebrated and iconic landmarks is the Brandenburg Gate, also known as the Brandenburger Tour. It used to stand for the idea of a remote nation. It now conveys a picture of unity and harmony. Its physical location was a blocked entrance along the German Berlin Wall during the Cold War. As a result, it became a permanent location for West Berliner shows. Seeing the Brandenburg Gate in the evening, since it is without a doubt one of the nicest places to see in Berlin and appears like a veritable carnival of lights. There have been more than 200 years of history at the Brandenburg Gate. Construction on the gate started in 1788 and was completed in 1791. Number 2. Reichstag The Reichstag is a significant historical site and the location of the German parliament. Damage from a 1933 fire and air raids during the 1945 Battle of Berlin were both significant. The Reichstag, which is located close to the Brandenburg Gate, wasn't completely reconstructed until after the fall of the Berlin Wall and German unification. As a memorial to the building's troubled past, some historical wounds, including graffiti written by Soviet soldiers, have been left there. The original building was created by a number of architects, and although the combination of styles in the finished product was somewhat divisive at the time, thousands of visitors today enjoy it every year. Visitors are required to register in advance in order to enter the glass dome at the top of the skyscraper, which offers a great view of the city. Number 3. Museum Island Museum Island, which is situated between the Spree River and Kupfergriven, is made up of five museums, that historic museum buildings were almost completely destroyed during World War II, like many other buildings in Berlin, but they are currently open. Ancient Greek and Roman artifacts are on exhibit at the Alps Museum, while Germany's largest collection of artwork from the 19th century is kept at the Alt National Gallery. Prehistoric artifacts and Egyptian artwork, including a bust of Queen Nefertiti, are kept in the News Museum and further collection of Greek and Babylonian artifacts can be seen in the Pergamon Museum. Here are the Pergamon Altar and the Ishtar Gate. The Bode Museum also showcases a variety of paintings, numismatic collections, and a sizable collection of sculptures. Number 4. Berlin Wall Memorial While in the city, there are numerous opportunities to view the Berlin Wall. If locations like Checkpoint Charlie seem overly touristic, Go visit the Berlin Wall Memorial, or Gettingstadt Berliner Mauer, as it is known in German. It serves as a monument to the innumerable men, women, and kids who died attempting to scale the wall. Additional exhibits and information are available at a nearby documentation center on Bernauer Strasse, albeit much of it is in German. The former border between East and West Berlin may be seen from the viewing platform. The Gunter Litvin Memorial which honors the main civilian victim of this attempted border crossing from east to west, is another noteworthy location nearby. Number 5. Checkpoint Charlie The Museum of Checkpoint Charlie is very fascinating. This intriguing tourist destination, which marks the busiest border crossing between east and west Berlin, has a wealth of exhibitions and artifacts detailing the history of human rights, as well as ones that focus primarily on Checkpoint Charlie and the Berlin Mall. The museum, which is located close to the old guardhouse, also showcases some of the most fascinating attempts made by people seeking to overthrow communist government. One successful attempt employed an original homemade air balloon among these. The adjoining open-air black box Cold War exhibit, 
which includes pieces of the Berlin Wall and informational kiosks relating to it, is also interesting. Number 6. Charlottenburg Palace Do not skip the Charlottenburg Palace if you enjoy palace tours. The largest palace in Germany may be found in the city west neighborhood of Berlin. When Charlottenburg Palace was built at the end of the 17th century, the entire Charlottenburg neighborhood sprang up around it. Do not skip the Charlottenburg Palace if you enjoy palace tours. The largest palace in Germany may be found in the city west neighborhood of Berlin. When Charlottenburg Palace was built at the end of the 17th century, the entire Charlottenburg neighborhood sprang up around it. This palace is without a doubt one of the top tourist attractions in Berlin. Whenever you appreciate visiting the palace, don't forget to check out the new wing, which has lovely banqueting halls and stately apartments. Number 7. Gendarmenmarkt The largest plaza in Berlin is likely the Gendarmenmarkt. Three prominent, distinctive buildings, the Konzerthaus, the French Cathedral, Francis Sister Dom, and the German Cathedral, overwhelm it, Deutscher Dom. The charming square from the 17th century is currently one of Berlin's most popular tourist destinations. It facilitates different public events, honoring vintage performances in the Konzerthaus Theater every year in the late spring. Gendarmenmarkt transforms into the city's well-known Christmas market each December. There is a large statue of the great poet Friedrich Schiller in the exact center of this location square. Several of these structures underwent extensive reconstruction after being severely damaged during World War II. Number 8. Holocaust Memorial The Holocaust Memorial, which stands next to the Brandenburg Gate, is a straightforward yet moving memorial to the Jews, who perished as a result of Hitler's extermination scheme. Over 205,000 square feet, the 2,711 slabs are placed in a wave-like pattern. Each stone is distinct and can range in height from about 6 feet to ankle high. The pathways in between the slabs are uneven, creating a general feeling of instability and confusion. There is no predetermined path through the silent, serene stones, so guests are free to move in any way. An subterranean information center at the memorial's base provides details and first-person accounts of those the Nazi Party's acts have impacted. Number 9. Berlin Television Tower The Berlin Television Tower, also known as the Berliner Fernsehturm, is situated close to Alexanderplatz. The observation deck of this tower, which is the tallest building in all of Germany, provides an exceptional vantage point from which to enjoy breathtaking views of much of the city. The Berlin Television Tower, one of Germany's most notable mid-century modern structures, was constructed in the 1960s. It was a great engineering marvel when it was built as well. There is a classy restaurant where you can take in the view while having a drink or a complete meal right below the main observation deck. Number 10. Potsdamer Platz This thriving area of Berlin is home to art, culture, and shopping. After the war, the square was completely devastated, but it has since been reconstructed as a contemporary plaza with iconic towers and a commercial arcade. The area is viewed as a symbolic reunification of Berlin's two halves, bringing its citizens together in an entirely new area of the city. With sleek contemporary office buildings around the Platz, a replica of Germany's first traffic light stands in the center. While the Sony Center houses a shopping center, a 3D IMAX theater, a cinema complex, and a film museum, the Daimler Chrysler Atrium contains a changing art show.